Okay, so finally our last episode in Kyrgyzstan, and this is where we are heading. So that's Lennon Peak in the background, just out of Sari Mogul, or Sari Mogul, not sure how to say it. But before we get there, if you watched the last episode, you would know that something went a little bit wrong. So I had a small accident. Um, I'm okay. My wrist hurts a little bit. I went down on the wrist. But basically, it's not even that sandy, but there's a little bit of sandy patches here. And with my steering bearing gone, I just got the wobbles pretty, probably going at 80. Got the wobbles. I can't hold it straight at the best of times, let alone when I'm going into wobbles. So I went down. Broke the front windscreen, which is going to be shit. Crush the tank a little bit. All in all, not too bad. Luckily it was on sand, so it just kind of scraped along. Uh. Oh shit, look, brake fluid. I completely lost my front brakes, but we didn't have any brake fluid with us, so we had no other option than to just try to turn the bike on and press on to the next town. So that's what we did. We saw that there was a small town not too much further on. So we took it pretty easy and headed there hoping to find some kind of mechanic. All right, so the update is we just pulled into the garage um, and we're just trying to bleed Jay's brakes in the hope we might be able to at least get him a front brake going. Uh, I was trying to fix it, then they clearly thought I was an idiot because basically there's just no pressure going into that brake which is very strange because you can see it pumping through the brake fluid through to the caliper so I'm not sure why there's no pressure there my theory is there's a lot of air in the line but the problem is because I kept trying they thought I was an idiot clearly so they went and started doing it and then they just let more air in the line um, so still no brake but we got the bits and pieces we need to try again so when we get to some cool we'll have another crack Otherwise, I guess there'll be no front brakes until Osh, which would be super fun. Okay, bye-bye. Definitely worth coming up here. What do you reckon, James? Oh, it's amazing. We uh, found a good yurt for what, 10 Australian dollars each. Even better because of the day we've had. I got us a bottle of vodka. And if that's not enough, <laughs> a bottle of cognac as well. It so tastes very good. It does taste good. So we're probably gonna have a few of these tonight, drown our sorrows, but it, the end of the day was amazing to be fair. Uh, you know, it could be worse. So tomorrow we're going to head down. Jay thinks he might have potentially fractured a bone in his hand, so probably an x-ray in a couple of days and hopefully we just have no more problems because seriously, it's getting a bit tiring now. But we're happy to be up here. <laughs> and I'm wearing my Pakistan hat. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think this bone, that one. A little, little bump in it. That one's hurting quite a bit. And I've actually broken the same bone on the other hand and it kind of feels similar. The weirdly, taking my helmet off is the most painful thing. Whoa! Here comes our guy to make fire. Check this out. Hey, dude. Thank you. I don't want to tell him what's for dinner, so he doesn't need to. So these yurts are pretty great. This, this one... This one's 
five hundred some. Yeah. So it's like ten ten dollars each per person. Australian dollars, yeah. Ten Australian dollars each to stay in the yurt. Five hundred for the accommodation, three hundred and fifty for dinner and a hundred for breakfast. So nine hundred and fifty some, which is So all up it's about twenty Australian dollars, which given the fact we're nineteen. What? 19, yeah. to be fair. Uh, so we're like 3,000 meters above sea level here. There's nothing anywhere near us. Um, and yeah, it's just a novelty of staying in here. We've got the fire, it'll be going later and it'll be like a little sauna because it was last time. They get really, really hot, it's like an oven. Yeah. But, uh, but we're stoked because- no, very happy with it. We almost camped. We thought it'd be nice to just be pretty much in the middle of nowhere near the lake, but it's been, has been a pretty shitty day. So uh, yeah, my hand's hurting, my ribs are hurting. We've got two bottles of spirits though, so we're yeah. going to head down to the, uh, kitchen, to the kitchen, well, dining room area. We'll get a little boozy and uh, hopefully have a better night. Yeah. yeah. Tomorrow is a new day. Yes it is, James. Tomorrow is a new day. Hey, look at this, it's really cool. All these little yurts, got horses everywhere, down there. Like it has been a shit day, but I mean, even at the end they're riding through and you've got horses just <laughs> on one side, the, the lake on the other side, it's it's hard to... Like I actually got goosebumps, I'm not sure if it was from how cold it was. <laughs> or the fact you fractured But I actually... <laughs> well, no, I do think it, like... We, there was one point where we came over a little like oh. ridge and it was just insanely beautiful. Um, so yeah, tough days but 100% worth it. And also there's this really cute dog here which makes me ridiculously happy. Yeah. Here he comes. Hey buddy. I don't know where the dinner tent is. Oh, there goes your camera almost. James, what's this? The lady's just telling us to go wash our hands before dinner. Yeah, there's no plumbing out here, so that's how do we fill it. <laughs> this is what's so cool. So we, you know, just went and had uh, dinner. It's pretty good. Yeah, it was. We ate a lot of bread. We had a lot of bread. Um, <laughs> went through most of that bottle of vodka. But this is what's so good. So this little, hey, okay. The girl serving us was like 12 and the dude making the fire is 12. Look at him, there he is. And they're so polite. They're so and like lovely. well behaved, they just kind of stand by a table and see if you want more drinks or anything. But check this out. So now we're gonna go into the tent and look how lovely it is. Oh. oh my god, it's so toasty warm. <laughs> it's so warm. So happy. We're warm. We got vodka. Yeah, we're slightly intoxicated. Food was great. And we we got people just keep making oh that's great. Managed to kind of get the front brake working on my bike. Um, like I said, I think I'm just here and there. I know the guys yesterday were just trying to help, but they didn't really seem to know what they were doing. It's kind of tough, like, you go to these places, I just asked for them to help me get the screw out because it was threaded, and then they take over thinking we don't know what we're doing, and then they clearly have no idea what they're doing. Um, it's hard because they're just trying to be nice. Anyway, got most of it working. It's kind of a beautiful day. It's very windy, which sucks because we wanted to throw the drone, put the drone up, but we might not be able to. But anyway, um, probably another five hours on the road today. Let's hope without incident. Uh, I don't even know where we're going. James, where are we going? We're going to head towards Osh, which is the second biggest city here. Uh, but we don't know where. We'll, we'll camp somewhere along the way because it's a good three, seven, eight hour ride. We just want a chill day. I did get somewhere in the afternoon and fix the bikes and camp but um yeah but yeah the first first 60k is very really amazing gravel dirt road and then after that I'm pretty sure. it's cold and windy let's get on the back of the bikes hopefully you'll see drone footage now nope no drone having drone issues and wind issues and issues but imagine it just like flying along horses running along the vista big ass lake in the background and the two DRs just going just cruising along 
cloud of dust just trickling behind them. Beautiful. That's what it would have looked like if we were to fly the drone. No drone. Just another fail. Another Kurgi. Yeah, our new word for fail is Kurgi. It's a bit unfair on Kurgi stars, so we, we do love it, but we it's been we just had problem after problem after problem. This whole video of us is gonna be ah oh, I have a problem. Oh shit, there's another problem. Ah, oh, James is tired flat again. Ah, oh, f <laughs> Anyway. We have to laugh and carry on. We do have to laugh and it carry could on. It will be worse. It probably will be in 20 minutes, so. The bikes are kind of working, so that's a good start. I go back on the road, bye bye. <laughs>
don't mind camping in the rain, but setting up your tents and then trying to get all your boots and your gear off and then trying to cook, it's just not much fun. So, very happy that we found this poo yeah. shelter. Yeah. Um, it's very cool actually, check it out. This is our atrium, little plants. And then the best part, yeah, the best part, so our obviously living area where we're sleeping. And then over here, you're gonna like this. Oh, we have a garage, check it out. Garage. How good is that? Anyway, it actually has stopped raining, but I think tonight's gonna just be a rainy night, so we're happy to be undercover. Uh, we'll cook some dinner, and tomorrow we head to Osh. I look the other way I don't see how it's gone Kyrgyzstan you just every little like you go over these mountain passes and then you come to a little valley like this and it's just little yurt camps everywhere horses riding around it's beautiful absolutely stunning love this place I guess the thing about Kyrgyzstan is when it's good, it's really, really good. We've actually got quite a long way to go today, but we have to keep stopping because every time you turn a corner, there's that. Every single corner you go around, it's just this beautiful view with either horses and yurts or like this little creek. It's insane. Holy shitballs. I know we keep going on about it, but this is just insane. Everywhere you look. Mountains and greenery, just everywhere. We're heading up there. Bit of snow, but I think we'll be fine. Bit of cloud, but I think we'll be fine. But this is just incredible. And these cows are pretty cool too. Hello, James. Hello. Look at it. Everywhere. Yeah. There's someone's house just here, though. <laughs> yeah, we are in someone's garden, I think, hanging out with their cows. I like that cow. What do you like about it? It's blue eyes. Look, it's got blue eyes. The black one? Yeah, the black and white one. Oh. Anyway, we'll press on. Just another... We, we stopped like <laughs> two kilometers ago. It just keeps getting better. It's insane. It does look like we're heading into snow though. You probably can't really see, but behind the clouds is snow and we're- We're going up there though. Winding up. But yeah, a bit of snow. All right, here we go. We don't worry about seas. We recycle and sort by sores. We've banned all plastic straws. Pass and we can see things, and the weather's good ish. And the roads, the roads beautiful. It's a bit windy. That's where we came from. Yeah, we're gonna go. 
walking along that little road down there. Little windy, 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 windy. All the way down there. Very excited. No, this is going to be great. Very windy, hopefully you can hear this. Check this out, look up. Look at that, look at that. Oh, that is an Instagram picture for sure. Check out Dodgy James's, look at this. Finished. Finished the... This is how it should have been most the whole days. It's taken us two weeks of being in this country. This is lovely. So we came down, come down the high pass and we just spotted this little yurt that looked like it had food. Well, it's got these things that so usually means there's food. And now we have a whole bunch of eggs. And some salt. And some salt. Um, and I think we're getting some soup and some coffee. Stoked. Yeah, winning today. Yeah. And I think it's about, here comes the bread. Very excited. The giant bread. Yeah, look, here they come. This little girl, they all, uh, all the little girls work. And work they here. seem happy. <laughs> Ooh. That's my, my fault. What's going on here? I think it's hot water. James talk is soon to me. Today, we've got soup of the day. What do you reckon it is? Which is um, a broth with cabbage. Oh yeah. And that stuff. What's that stuff? Is it goat milk? Pretty sure it's just fat. Oh, good. This is nice. Eggs. Yep. With uh, heart-shaped salt. It's always, mm. always a favorite. And meat, which I'm guessing is lamb, because it tends to be lamb everywhere else we've been. Could be wrong. Yeah. And then um, we will be having some, oh, tea. Yeah, tea. Tea it is, and bread. Uh, big, standard bread. Big piece of bread. So, yeah. Nice. It's stuck in. We've definitely had worse settings for our, our dinner. Mm, sorry, tripod, I hide that. Yeah, good day so far. Probably the best we've had in Kyrgyzstan. From there, we made our way to Osh and got a little lost trying to find our guest house. Okay, so we made it to Osh yesterday. Uh, we had a good day. It was beautiful coming in from Kazaman. Um, we're at Osh Guest House, which is really cool because they've given there's a little bit of space, but enough to work on the bikes. Lots to do, and I've only got probably two hours before it gets dark. So we've got new boots for the front. That'll go on. Nice easy one. Um, it's time for my chain, a new chain to go on. I've been carrying this for a while. New chain will go on there. New sprocket will go on there. Um, the gasket, which I think I've already said has been leaking, the clutch cover gasket, I can't get one so we've ordered it. But for the moment, I've just got this gasket seal, so I'll have to drain the oil, put that on, and hopefully that seals it because it is leaking oil at the moment. Oh, this is a funny thing. I spent half the day looking for this bin. It's actually very hard to find a bin like this in Osh. 
Uh, I'm gonna try to turn it into a windscreen. There's a guy on YouTube that I'll put a link because he does these awesome, very cheap front windscreens for these bikes. Because yesterday, because mine broke in the crash, yesterday when we were getting up to speed, you can just feel the air hitting your, your chest and it gets really tiring really fast. So we'll see if we can do that. Um, I'm still really worried about the steering because it's, the steering bearing is horrible. It's all over the place, the, st the steering head bearing. So I'm, I don't have the parts, but I'll pull everything apart, try grease them, see if it makes any difference. Probably won't, but we'll give it a go. Uh, I won't film it because it'll take too long, but I'll show you the results at the end. A little cognac to help get us through it. Hey, you got, you got tires, how are we going? <coughs> Pretty good actually. Um, so, if you come around here. Uh, new chain is on, both sprockets are on. It's a very fancy gold chain. Which is great. Uh, the tire is still off, but the new front boot, there it is. It's on, seated, doing well. So this one here, how many Ks did we get out of that? That one is about 26,000. Yeah, it's 26,000, it's pretty good, but where we're going, it's going to be quite a lot of off-road for a while and it's running low, so we've got a new one, which is a Heidenau K60 Scout. Yeah. Which we got from Zorro Moto. And the next thing, so this is my favorite job, which I've now done about 17 times. It's taken it all apart, pull the clutch cover off because the gasket was leaking, put that gasket seal on there, and it's... Uh, it's looking pretty, it's working, because we took it for a ride, it's not leaking, so that's good. Um, so, yeah, so far, so good. Made a screen. Oh, this, this screen is beautiful. Where is it? Um, the, the screen, oh yeah. Oh, here we so, are. So again, th this thing is, it's made from a dustbin, so I don't expect too much. <laughs> I'm still gonna cut it and make it look a bit better, but that sits there. Let's take you around. It actually looks, it looks quite nice, or it will do, with some stickers on and... We bent it a little bit, so I'll just trim it back, refine the edges, and uh, it'll do the job, it still holds the wind off my chest, which is the, the whole plan. Here's the boring job now though, so that, that steering bearing, which is in here somewhere, um, I need, I'm going to try re-lube. It's as Jay's probably said before, he's ordered parts to Uzbekistan, but we've got Probably one of the more, well, the longest stints off road we're going to have is before Uzbekistan. And after that, it's going to be quite a lot of uh, roads, you know, going through Europe and things. So it's worth trying to get it going better now because going on all sand and dirt roads with how it is on his bike currently is asking for trouble and probably wouldn't be too fun. So it's going to give it a go. And we even just got a few beers. What do we get, Jay? Where are our beers? In the, the bag there, but we can't drink here. Oh. He, right. he literally said, take these red chairs. And go and just sit out there. Okay, we can't drink here, but we do have two lovely bottles of whatever this is. Top race seems okay. It's uh, put a bit of grease in there, so it's a bit dirty. The bottom one you can definitely feel it's <laughs> it's notchy, it's shit. It's not that great. We'd like to. We, we, we yeah, we've checked the bottom one. You, there's definitely compared to the top ones, pretty smooth. The bottom one has definitely almost chunks taken out of it. Chunks is a strong word, it's, it's, it's notchy. The problem is, so, like that guy told us today, the best thing to do would be to switch them around. But I'm, I'm worried that with my little screwdriver and hammer trying to get it out, I'm just doing more damage than good. So uh, we've given up on that idea and we're just gonna grease the shit out of these bearings. And uh, hope it makes some kind of difference until we get the new ones. No idea. This is not the right way to do this, but uh... Um. Well, I don't have, like, you'd, you'd want to take it off and use your hand, but uh, getting it off is a, ball, a really shitty job, so... <laughs> we're, doing a, we're doing a quick and dirty to hope it might improve it, is what we're doing. Okay, so uh, we've been off a little bit longer than we'd hoped, but... Uh, it's actually been pretty nice. It has, it's been chilled. Uh, the bike, was stoked with how it all came out. Yeah. Um, things are going really well in that regard. So now we're heading to Sari Mogul. Sari Mogul, yeah, they're up to Lenin Peak. Yeah. Uh, Lenin Mountain. Getting it on the road, and the drone's working, so we're gonna get some sick yeah, drone we. shots. Yeah. Okay, bye-bye.
Okay, so this is exciting. We're actually going trekking. Oh, mini and adventure. It's, and it's not like a, oh, our bikes are screwed up, so we have to trek out, <laughs> then get some parts, and then trek back in kind of trekking. We're actually- Out of choice. Of choice, we're trekking. Not that the last one was bad, but we've just got to, this is the CBT year camp down at the lake. Uh, we've asked them if we can leave our bikes here for the night. And then we go there. up there. And uh, it's not a very far walk today. Today we'll just do a probably two hour walk and we'll camp somewhere. And then um, tomorrow we might explore a little bit further in and then walk all the way back down and probably stay here tomorrow night. But we're stoked. This yeah. is last couple of days in Kyrgyzstan. This is exactly what we wanted to do for this trip. So yeah, we actually just had a lady told us that she's just coming from Tajikistan and there's like no green. <laughs> there's no grass and horses so and cows. It'll so. be, this is a nice way to end it. Oh yeah. All right, let's get going. Okay. Alright, so our plan, our plan was to go to walk up to the base camp, find a little nice spot and uh, camp. But we didn't bring food. We actually didn't plan on bringing food. We were going to just find a yurt camp and say how much will it cost for us to camp in our own tent, but eat with you guys. Just save a little bit of money. Yeah, the problem is a lot of these places are like geared towards uh, proper expeditions to climb Lennon Peak. So they're all set up for these alpine, you know, alpinist kind of climbers that are willing to pay a shit ton of money. Yeah. Um, so they charged us, well they quoted us to stay with them and eat was 30 US dollars. And I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but it's more than what we were expecting. It's more than we're willing to pay as well at this yeah. stage of the trip. And then we said, oh, if we have our own tent, how much is it? And they said 20 US dollars for two meals. And we were like, nah. So uh, we're going back down the hill a little bit. There was a very friendly family that were just waving at us about 10 minutes down the hill. So uh, we're just gonna go ask them if they'll cook us dinner and we'll pay them. And worst, worst case scenario, we walk back down to where we said we were just leaving for a hike and we stay in those years. It's really not our path. Yeah, to be honest, it, people are saying it's like two, two to two and a half hour walk. I think we did it in like an hour. It was, yeah, actually we did it in about 45 minutes, to be honest. From here, it's like 40 minutes away. It's very, it's very flat, so it's pretty, pretty easy. And then tomorrow we can just walk all the way back up to the, I think it's called an onion farm or something up top. Anyway, we'll here's a our, later. this could be the place where we eat. Or just a very friendly family that wanted to wave at us. <laughs> Who knows? We shall find out. There's one just on that rock. All right, James, what's the deal? So, um, we've got down to this yurt, and as we're walking past, the man over there just came running down the hill, waving at us and screaming. Long story short, we were able to put our tents up, and we're having some kind of food. I'm not sure what it is, but he did like a bull or yak impression. So I guess that's a start. And we're having tea, we're having black tea. Uh, we don't actually know how much it's costing us, <laughs> but um, it's better than going back to see the camp. So we're pretty happy here. I mean, the view in the morning, if it's a clear day, is going to be insane. Mm. So yeah. Happiness. Tent time. Tent time. Check it. Get it. This is actually stoked about this. This is exactly what we wanted. Yeah, so uh, got our meal. Our meat. We've got some bread, We've got some tea. This is perfect. Yeah. Starting to put our tents yeah, up. Very good. And that's Lennon, Lennon Peaks just up there. So this is exactly what we wanted. Love, this love it. This is amazing. What mm. is it, do you know? Potentially horse, but it tastes nice. Yeah. <laughs> Happiness. Mm. Have a little early night, you know? Get some downloaded Netflix going. Oh yeah, Netflix and chill. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Good morning. Oh shit, got my headphones on. Uh, beautiful morning, beautiful place. Yeah. So, so uh, after dinner last night with that lovely family, our horse meat and bread and tea. Uh, we pretty much just got to bed. We woke up this morning and we walked up to this, what's called the onion field, which I'm pretty sure is that over there. We camped down, down there. And uh, you can't actually see it because there's clouds everywhere. But that's Lennon Peak. So it's about 
7,000 odd meters. We're about 4,000 now. Yeah, it's really is beautiful here. We're just sitting here waiting, hopefully, for the clouds to disappear for a little bit. But uh, it's really nice, it's really peaceful. peaceful. Literally mountains all around you. Very quiet, very nice. And we can just chill, eat some dried apricots. A chocolate biscuit. Yeah, and just hopefully the mountain will come out. Um, and then we'll stroll back down and we'll go stay at that yurt camp where we left our bikes. Yeah, it's our last night here, so it'll be quite sad, really. It's really nice, though, like to... Yeah. It's just taking a big slow, you know, it's been fixing bikes and rushing around trying to get parts for fixed bikes, and it's really nice to just take it easy and enjoy These it. These last few days have kind of been what we wanted to do here, so it's been nice to have at least have a few days doing it. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, we'll, I guess we'll film it again if, if the mountain comes up. Maybe. We hung around for a few hours, but the mountain didn't come out from behind the clouds. So we went back down and stayed at that other yurt camp at the bottom, and the next day the views were stunning. But alas, we had to get back on the bikes. The roads out of here are awesome. Highly recommended if you happen to be in the area. We then headed up to the Tajikistan border. Lots of construction going on, but still a lot of fun, beautiful roads. We found the little border office, we met the local guard, as well as a fellow traveler going in the opposite direction to us. All right, so uh, just made it through the Kyrgyz customs. This is technically no man land, no man's land. Look at this. This is so beautiful, by the way. It's insane. Now, like we said, we have been told that pretty much as we enter Tajikistan, the greenness goes away, but it's still very beautiful. But this is goodbye to Kyrgyzstan. It's been a roller coaster. It has. It's definitely been Another the country. toughest country we've been to, the most beautiful country we've been to. There's a few things. There's it's great. Things. It's been fantastic. Um, now, we have been told that the roads going into Tajikistan are pretty shit. Um, I guess we'll see like whether they are any worse than what we've been going through. Uh, who knows? But uh, this is it. Yeah. End of the episode. Goodbye. Goodbye, Kyrgyzstan. Uh, subscribe, do all that stuff, you know, standard procedure. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you in the next one. See you on the other side. Ciao. Okay, so here's the cost breakdown that we do at the end of every episode. Have a look. Now, keep in mind that we had a lot of mechanical issues. That's why that motorcycle parts is so high, $585. But that was like a new tire and the clutch plates and a few other things. So we, you could do it cheaper than this, basically. Thanks again for watching and thanks for commenting. It's, uh, it's been really, we really enjoy it. We enjoy making these videos. We enjoy reading all the comments. So, you know, keep talking to us because we love every second of it. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you soon in Tajikistan.